Jó. Jó. Lol. A katipszol lol. Szok lablé. I followed it as I desperately needed to find out what Grey Wolf was trying to tell me. But it was like that some of bitch disappeared into thin air. Yeah. Hmm? What's that so far? Never did find him. And never did collect my goddamn bounty. Thank you, darling. It's interesting how the truth can sometimes seem uh, might malleable, depending upon your point of view. Like how those dime novels make you out to be something you're not? Jack, don't be starting trouble. No, he's right. They do tend to exaggerate. Did they exaggerate your part in taking down the Daltons? Well, I was there in the flesh, boy, so I saw what happened firsthand. Good, episode 6. Those Daltons were lawmen once, before they all went bad, robbing banks and trains clear across the territory. Until Coffeeville, of course. I was one of the citizens who took up arms that day. Fighting on the side of the right? I did my best, sir. We all did. Gut, dann geht es gleich weiter. Ne? Mal nennt mich den Kopfgeldjäger, ja, vielleicht manchmal. It was early morning. One of my friends was a local gunsmith, and he handed out firearms to anybody who'd take one. You see, the Daltons got it in their heads to rob two banks at the same time. Two banks on the ah, same damn street. Get him, boy. No, I'm not. Story was Bob Thanks. Dalton's girl was always riding him about how he had no ambition. Oh, you're nobody next to Jesse James, she'd say. But finally, the bastard took his brothers to Coverville just to shut her up. Well, the locals recognized the Daltons right off. Before they could get away, half the town took up arms to defend their property. Their first mistake was pulling a job in their own damn hometown. Yeah, they can find us. So, das könnte jetzt noch 10, 20 Mal passieren. Achso, das, lol, das ist die Tür. Die ist irgendwie ein bisschen klein. The brothers pay daily for their stupidity. But everybody knows, they had it coming. There's more to it than that. I read all about that day, so I know for a fact that it went down very differently. First of all, it was high noon. A posse of U.S. Deputy Marshals were on the rooftop across the street. Get ready, boys. They're gonna make a move. The lawmen had been tracking the Daltons for months, and now they finally had them dead to rights. Among them was a bounty hunter feared by many a lawbreaker. This man had no intention of letting the Daltons slip away. The Marshals tried to get the Daltons to surrender. You know, They'll give up eventually. We just gotta wait the son of a bitches out. But this bounty hunter knew that the brothers were far too proud to ever so lay down their guns. Natürlich nicht überleben. Das ist natürlich ein bisschen heftig gewesen, ne? But those boys had a reputation as stone-cold killers, so the marshals took every precaution. 
knowing they wouldn't go easy. The marshals tried to get the Daltons to surrender. They'll give up eventually. We just gotta wait for something to happen. This bounty hunter knew that the brothers were far too proud to ever lay down their guns. So he went in there alone to confront those criminals. <laughs> One of the marshals shouted, Where are you going? Are you crazy? Hey, where do you think you're going, dumbass? That right was mine. But he paid him no mind. He saw a way to get around to the back of the bank. Yo, auf jeden Fall. Then he figured out how to hit the Daltons from a direction they weren't expecting. From above. Fortunately, a water tower was right there. A moment later, he was climbing up a steep ladder, laughing at danger as he did. Oh, ach so, hier geht's weiter hoch. Ich dachte schon. It was brave men like him who risked their lives to tame this wild country. Other men couldn't or wouldn't to make this country free. Like Jim Bowie and Davy Crockett, who died defending the Alamo. Is that Silas Greaves? Son of a bitch! So, what are we doing, Ina? Lol. <lacht> okay, das ist ziemlich schnell. Ähm, ja. Over there. Lol, ich hab doch die Idee gedrückt. Das war Lügen. Victorious, taking down those thieving Daltons. Um, here, flushed. His name was Silas Greaves, and when the dust finally settled, he was the last man standing. Sorry, okay. kid, but that just wasn't the way it happened. <laughs> yeah, genau. Am besten noch mal. Und dann noch mal. Und dann noch mal. It was early evening, not high noon. The Daltons blew up a safe, and were all set to hightail it out of there. I was late to the party, and Coffeeville was already up in arms. Those pathetic deputies surrounding the bank were dropping like flies. Aha. I had been tracking those jokers for months, waiting for them to do something reckless. Oh, you are shit out of Finally, they did. Those stupid bastards decided to rob two banks at the same time in the same town where everybody knew them. But they still had friends in Coffeeville. So the next corner there. Face me, you coward. Genau, ich treffe einfach nicht.
nix kann. Ich bin nicht falsch. Und ja auch. Sonst bin ich vielleicht noch hier richtig oder so. Ich glaube, das ist kein Weg. Ich schätze mal nicht. Okay, ich muss mal gucken. Warum kann ich die Tür nicht öffnen? Das ist die Tür ganz langsam aufgekackt. What the fuck? Ganz ehrlich. Ist doch nicht in die Bank. Oh Gott. Ganz ehrlich, habe ich das schon mal erwähnt? Okay, ich bin vor der Bank. Und jetzt? Da. Und diese Freunde kamen mir wie ein like Pack von wilden Dogs. Tooth und Nail. Sie kamen mir von allen Richtungen. I caught sight of the Daltons running with the money and didn't want to lose them. Problem was, they knew the town better than I did. To top it off, I found myself in the middle of another shootout entirely. Did the Daltons hole up in somebody's house? No, it was the uh, Smiths, I believe. They were cousins of the Daltons. And they were shooting at the Browns, who were shooting at the Daltons. Which wasn't any surprise, because those two families have been feuding for 